clearly, as we're we're very close here to this November election, I mean, now with them coming out, Zuckerberg stating that this was uh, censorship here by the Biden administration. How do you see things changing now with Harris on the top of the ticket, and when she is now getting all of this pro media? Uh, great headlines. In fact, she's getting Google to uh, rewrite some of these headlines in her favor. Do you see that maybe we might see a shift here with Zuckerberg now coming out? Do you think that this might be even more fair, given that some of these big tech companies are saying, yes, we were influenced here by the Biden administration? Will it now be fair? Well, I think time will tell. It was a huge step having Elon Musk take over Twitter and remake it as a free speech dedicated to platform. That was very important. I think it's a huge deal that Zuckerberg said that he would not be supporting Democrats in this election, that he would not be uh, behaving the same way that he did in 2020. So it's certainly possible that we have a much better shot at getting actual information out there and getting the truth out there than we did in 2020 when the suppression was so fierce and everybody was saying, you know, you're not being suppressed. No, you're allowed to say whatever you want. It was a complete gaslighting atmosphere. It was total lies. So I do think that we have a better shot this year, although the mainstream media outlets are still, you know, in a full court press for Kamala Harris, and they will not be swayed to uh, have any kind of equal or fair coverage. Yeah, they continue to protect her, and she's 